Matt Schlapp joining us right now. All right, Matt, uh, Trump fired people. I say Biden won't and can't. What say you? Yeah, I agree with what you said. Remember, my wife, Mercy, worked for President Trump at the campaign in the first two years at the White House, and I was involved as an advisor. And the difference between Biden and Trump is Trump was not that reliant on staff and cabinet secretaries. He had his own ideas. They were completely anathema to the swamp. There was a lot of conflict. And Donald Trump was an outsider, so he had a lot to learn about government. But over time, he realized very quickly when there was a good fit or not with a staffer. Because Joe Biden is in this diminished state, whatever kind words we want to use, he needs that staff. He needs Ron Klain. He relies on his staff like crutches. And to get rid of them, I think, I don't even know if he's got the ability to know who's doing a good job and who's doing a bad job. I will tell you, from the outside looking in, they're all doing a bad job. <laughs> okay. From your perspective, I understand that. Now, let's move on to President Trump. He's going to speak, uh, former President Trump, he's going to speak at the CPAC conference. Uh, I believe it's later this month. Do you think he still leads the party as of now and will lead the party to the elections of 2022? Yeah, I do, but it's not just my opinion. If you just, you know, I spend a lot of time traveling, giving speeches, talking to people. Uh, and, you know, the fact is, is that people look to Mar-a-Lago, they look to Palm Beach to hear uh, what the Republican Party cares about, what the Republican Party is doing. Every time I go to Palm Beach uh, to see the president, he has a waiting room full of candidates wanting that endorsement. They'd rather have his endorsement than the endorsement of the RNC or any other politician. So to me, that just tells you at the end of the day, for Republican primary voters, it's all about where Trump is. Is that how it works? Uh, he's in Mar-a-Lago. Not normally. He, he's cutting up, but, but he's, he's kind of holding court. And all people oh my God, come I, at him, and there's a waiting yes. room full of people, and he's vetting candidates, and he's getting ideas. Is that how it works? He's got a court, almost, in Florida. That, yeah, totally. It's exactly how it works. You know, it's not as grand as the White House in some ways, but it is Mar-a-Lago, after all. It's pretty gorgeous. <laughs> and, uh, and so people like going there. It's a beautiful, Florida is so functional under Ron DeSantis, and everybody's lining up to get that endorsement. Now, on the Democratic side, Obama's the cool cat. Everybody wants Obama's endorsement. Nobody even wants to be seen with Joe Biden or Kamala Harris because they're so unpopular and their policies are so toxic. So the Democrats have always had this, the former president's a big deal. We've never had it. Now, it's he is, it's yeah. what Donald Trump thinks will determine whether or not you're going to win that primary or not. Look at Liz Cheney. Look at Adam Kinzinger. Look at all these Republicans who voted for impeachment or facilitating the 1-6. Their political careers are over. Got it. Matt Schlapp, thanks for being here. We will see you again soon. Thanks a lot.